I have had a lot of roles to fill over my life. I am a retired National Guardsman who deployed in defense of America. I am a college graduate who studied history. I have worked in education for years, helping students to learn and understand their subjects. I have been an advocate for people with disabilities, ensuring that they have fair access to life and opportunities to succeed on their own merits. I have been a son and a grandson, a nephew, a cousin, a brother. These are all rewarding, each in their own way. But the most rewarding role I have ever had was fatherhood. I love being a father. I have four kids. Their ages range from 26 to 12. Each is unique and wonderful, and yet when I look at each of them, I see myself in them. Anyone who sees my children and me standing together can see that they are my kids. They look like me, and they act like me. Certainly, each has features and aspects from their mom. But the roasted aspects of their appearances and personalities are strong. Being a father is very challenging. From the moment when your child is placed into your arms for the first time, a sense of wonder and a mild dread fills you. Wonder because here is a tiny little human who is utterly dependent on father and mother and utterly trusting that you will take care of them. Dread because of the awesome responsibility that trust represents. As a father, you guide your kids as they explore the world and guard them when the world becomes too harsh. You teach them many things in many ways, too. You have a miniature human at first, and all too soon they aren't so miniature anymore. You have to teach them how to be a fully functioning, self-actualized adult so that they can take care of themselves. You sit with them and help them with their homework without doing the homework for them. You show them how to clean their room and then make them keep their room clean. You teach them how to cook, to clean, to wash themselves and their clothes. You teach them how to make friends. You teach them when and how to defend themselves. There are other things to teach them, too. It's not just about taking care of themselves. They have to learn how to be part of a group and to contribute to the whole. You have to teach them about loyalty, duty, respect, selflessness, honesty, integrity, and courage. They need to know where they stand on the issues, and how to articulate their beliefs. They need to know where to go to find the answers to their questions. They need to know how to be themselves without insisting that everyone else has to accept them, because I've yet to hear anyone who does not hear criticism about themselves. They need to learn how to make mistakes, acknowledge those mistakes, accept the consequences of those mistakes, and learn from those mistakes in order to become a better human being. And the rewards? When your child first looks up at you, that's a reward. So is the first time they reach out to touch your face. When they smile at you as soon as they see you. When they say dada for the first time. When they take their first independent steps after all those hours you spent giving them your fingers to steady themselves while they learned how to walk when they climb into your lap and cuddle with you, when they say, I love you, Daddy. As they get older, the rewards change. They can't stay little forever, so when it's time for school, they ask you to take them in case you are scared. They learn how to ride a bike and climb a tree. They bring home drawings and worksheets to show you. They ask to go with you to do fun things, but then they ask you if they can go with you to run errands and even come to work with you. They ask you a thousand questions a month because they think that you know the answers to all of their questions all of the time. They tell their friends that their dad is smart, strong, and handsome. Then they start to not need you so much. They become teenagers and start to challenge everything that you have taught them. They still stand with you even as they loudly announce how embarrassing it is. They stand up to you when they think that you are wrong. They remind you that they aren't a little kid anymore. They get their first job, meet their first romantic interest learn how to drive. They make plans for what they want to do when they grow up and can't wait to be a grown-up even as the time seems to slip by for you ever faster. Finally, they leave home to start their journey as an adult. Pride fills you as a father, and yet it's bittersweet. They really don't need you anymore. They can do it on their own. And yet, they come to see you. They talk to you about their lives, and they ask you for advice. They don't need you anymore, but they want you. You are their dad. And for every man out there who was truly a father to his kids, that makes you still the same great guy that they looked up to when they hung onto your fingers while learning how to walk. And the same man who stepped back and let them figure it out when they needed to do it by themselves. 
but the best reward is still to come for me. Someday, perhaps soon for some of them, my kids will call me to say that they are going to be parents themselves. Then I can be grandpa and watch my kids raise their kids well. I can play with my grandkids then. I can see that my sons have grown up to be good fathers and that my daughter has grown up to be a good mother. If you are a new father or are about to be, there are some things that you need to know. Your kids will frustrate you. You will find them doing really silly, stupid, and even dangerous things, and it's up to you to correct them. You will be tired. In fact, the moment your first child is born, your right to normal sleep patterns is forever ended. You will wake up many mornings and still feel tired, and sometimes you will wake up completely exhausted, especially when they're teething. Naps will sneak up on you after a while. You will go to work when you want to take the day off sometimes, and sometimes it will be because you know those kids are counting on you to provide for them. You will have to choose between your kids and yourself, and if you are a good father, your choice will usually be in favor of your kids. You will have to set a good example for them, and you will have to learn how to tell them no, even if they whine about it. You will have to learn when you can say yes to them, and you will find yourself working extra hours just to save up enough to take them places. You will be challenged. You will make mistakes in parenting sometimes. You will have to learn how to rally back from those mistakes. You will feel like you are failing your kids sometimes too, especially if you wind up being a single father. Honestly, a lot of people will assume that you are practically helpless if you wind up being the primary or sole custodial parent of your children. In either case, it still won't be easy. Trust me though, being a father is wonderful. It's still the best job I've ever undertaken. Happy Father's Day.